Whoops, wrong mountain. <clears throat> Welcome to Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than histories of Pokemon have been written down. It's a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Four somehow familiar looking prisoners, bound by heavy chains, emerge from the ship. The community accuses them of playing God with Perkisov, but by the grace of a ten-year-old, their crimes shall be forgiven atop some random mountain. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous trainers and their Pokemon have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them only black and white awaits. As they are kicked down the open moor at the peak, their crimes are absorbed. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain. But will you be the very best, like no one ever was? Welcome back to Grimrock, everyone! To a special bonus episode! So, uh, it just so turned out to be that the final episode was number 29, and, uh, so I thought that, uh, you know, I, I would like to end up with a round number, so I decided to start recording this <laughs> extra bonus episode now, and uh, here we are. Uh, I decided to uh, start this game again, and now I'm actually at level 4 archives, or however you want to pronounce that. And also, as you can see, I have customized my team a bit. So we got me here, I'm the uh, main character of Black and White, and then we got... Um, Sir Buffalon's here. He's kind of like the Minotaur guy that we had in the previous run, and uh, I'm of course a human character. And then we got, we we got our Qorum, uh, who is the master of uh, ice and uh, electric magic or lightning or whatever. But uh, Blizzard and lightning, those are the magic magic style uh, he controls. And then we got Ninja Bug. Who was or originally supposed to use throwing weapons, but uh, I used those in my previous one, and to be honest, they weren't really that good. So I decided to try, you know, a bow and uh, arrows. So um, decided to w go with those. And uh, Sir Buffalon here, he has axes. Last time I used mace maces, so I decided to go with axes this this time. But anyways, uh, yeah, we are in the level 4 right now, and this is a part that I never went through with you guys in the original run, so I figured I could do this special episode here now, and uh, also I'm playing with uh, hard difficulty this time. Definitely a bit more difficult. <laughs> but uh, I guess we are going to just start by, uh, let's see what this says. Time and tide, that, that sounds good. And I do remem remember this puzzle, um, and we stand on this, yeah, you can hear some ticks. And then a portal or teleport thing happens, and uh, you need to shoot an arrow there, or whatever. I think you can also throw something there, but uh, I'm just gonna do this this way. Boom! There we go. And as you saw, the arrow it came actually from there, so... Um, yeah, that's how it works. You need to, you need to shoot something there, but I I don't think you can throw anything because it doesn't have pack the power enough power to uh you know actually do something, you know uh, go as far as to the pressure plate over there, and we could actually change this up. Let's take some. Do I have some? Well, there's a cave metal. Let's let's put that over there and my torch is burning out so let's switch that bad boy up and uh, there's a book over here but to be honest I don't know how do you go there but let's go over here alright and there's a pressure plate right here and when I 
when I press that, uh, these pits are going to, uh, you know, close in an order. But uh, the ones be uh, the ones that are behind you, they will, you know, after a few seconds, they will close again. So you need to kind of time this perfectly. And this is also a trial and error kind of thing, because that is not enough for you to just go there till the end. Uh, time perfectly because uh, there you need to actually throw something because there's another pressure plate behind the corner somewhere over there So uh, we are going to need an uh, extra item and I also I could probably save right here Just because this may take a few tries um, Do I have some really random stuff that I could throw? Dub let's uh, Let's let's throw that uh, Let's go Boom, all right, we can start going, okay, and also I think there are, there we go, oh, oh, oh. you needed to throw something over there, and I think I heard one of those, there we go, hello there sir, would you like to come, okay he's dead, wow, didn't think I could one shot that thing, but Apparently so. I got shuriken, although I don't really need it, but I got it regardless. And this is the way to go. And there's another bad creature and lots of them actually. Hello. Hello, who's coming? Boom, boom. And dead. Good. Good riddance. And that, of course, missed. Boom. Alright, alright. Boom. Dead. Good. Ah. I should probably close this door and uh, heal my guys. Sleep for a few turns. Turns. Why am I talking about turns? Too much RPG. Turn-based ones. Alright, good. Is there somebody here? I wonder if there's a secret button. I may have missed one in my original run. So who knows? Who knows? Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Sir? Um, get over here, will ya? They're coming this way, good. And he's coming this way. Good, 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 good. Boom. Dead. Oh! We got another one. I really want to be... Whoa! Why did I just do that? I just wanted, wanted to be careful so that I don't fall into any of these pits. But they were over... They were just here, so... Not that I had nothing to really worry about. I'm just dumb. But... We got a scroll, and as you can see, there's one on each side. There's one there, and that guy's guarding one. So, we need to go get all of these scrolls, but um, to wait, the way to uh, get them is, of course, by those different teleportation things. So, um, to be honest, I don't think there's a way back other than going into the pit, so... Go into the pits and there we go. Death from above. I think you can get an achievement for that. Yup. Boom. Boom. That was a waste. Well, let's see what's going on in here. More enemies. Okay. Definitely. Yup. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. And we can get some baked maggots, which is cool. And did we have frost arrow? Hmm. That could actually come in handy, and I should probably sleep off some of the damage. So there we go. Let's go here. Yep. Let's just do that. Okay, so I am at the beginning right. And I just did this, which was time inside. Then we go to the next one. And we are going to get the rest of the scrolls. Beast Gardens and uh, Menagerie. 
something like that. Also, I could possibly save right here, since I got one of these done. And if something goes wrong... Okay, what what's here? Aha! Uh -huh. So, that opens up the gate over there, but uh, whenever that thing hits this, uh, it will close it, so... Oh! Will that keep shooting or not? Apparently not. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. And dead. Good. Good. I'm like so much better now. Hello. Get over here, brother. Boom. 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 Did I even waste any magic? Oh, I actually... Where's the frosty arrow? Boom! Come on! Why do you have to keep on missing? I would actually just use these frost arrows since they're... I wasn't even paying attention that they were... Roadhead arrows for... Do I have so many of them really? Apparently! But how many of... One? Really? Well, how did that work out exactly? Uh, I thought I... There were more a moment ago. Well, I'm stupid, so who cares? Um... Anyways... What was... What did I need to do here? Oh, wait. So... Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, this is the part where those skeleton guards will respawn to a no end and you need to lure them over here on these platforms because whenever you uh, step on it it will close and you can open them if you go in yourself but the skeletons cannot and you need to have something on those pressure plates but wouldn't I be able to just you know put some random stuff there I don't know but these these guys do respawn so I would think Hello, sir, sir, there we go, there we go, that was one, and I do believe there is more, but we're in here, let's go for a little look, more random items, blood drop blossoms, here's one, so now let's just, um, okay, there's one, one guy over here, Hello, hello, sir, sir, come back, pull a U-turn. There we go. There we go. And there is one more here, at least. So we need to lure at least one more guard. So I came from here, right? Yup. But let's wait for... Wait for that one more guy to uh, get here. Hello? Anyone here? They should be respawning, like, pretty quickly. Yep, there's one already here. Let's just wait for him. There we go. And this should open up something. Yep, it opened up that door right there. Which wasn't open before. Although, like, couldn't I just put items there? I, I don't know if I could have just done that, but, uh... Yeah, all I know that I think it's supposed to be done this way, so figured might as well do it. And more blood drop blossoms. I wonder if there's anything secrety in here. Might as well keep on moving. Okay. Came from there. Have I checked this place out? Is there anything? Blah, blah, blah. Nothing there. Probably already picked that up. I don't pay attention. I'm I'm just doing stuff and talking while I'm doing it. So, all right, that was actually that. That was a kind of a yeah. Well, I guess these all of these are kind of short-ish. But anyways, yeah, these are, all of these you know have a certain text here, and then we need to uh, put them in a certain order to. Uh, back at the beginning and in order to uh, you know open up the door 
Anyways, he looks like he could be Ninja Bug. He could actually eat something. So good, Mr. Bull. What about Kirim? He's okay. I'm fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Anyone else down here? Um, there's a key over there. I wonder. I wonder what I could do. So this is just the place where I already was, but I last time I kind of missed that. I wonder how you can get that. It's really nothing. But I'm gonna sleep off the fall damage. Yep. And then cure him. There we go. He's good. So whatever. Whatever. Let's just do the main thing. So the next one is over here at the end. So I think. Oh, wait. I'm guessing you can get a secret if you somehow manage to open up that door. You can get here. But whenever we solve this puzzle right here, we can open up this gate, I do believe. So let's see what this next one says. Trails of Thought. And I'm gonna save here again. Mm-hmm. So how does this work out exactly? Oh yeah, this was... Okay, what does this do? Okay, that opens up the door. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah, you kind of need to figure out a, like a... You have to do this in a certain order. Um... And to be honest, I'm not really sure what the right order is. Um, okay. Okay, now I'm doing pretty good. Um, I can go here. But, if I go to the next one... Huh, I wonder if I should go... If I should back it up, because if I go to the next one, that will definitely... I'm gonna go back here. Here, do that. Um, okay. Nope. Kind of. Oh, it worked out. To be honest, I am not exactly like sure what's the logic with this, but uh, we got to the end. Bit of trial and error, but it worked out. It worked out. And you can okay. That one, that one just closed it. But I heard a bat. Hello, sir. Boom. My torch is burning out. Which is bad news, bears. I guess I should probably pick up these again. And dead. And what did I just push? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. You need to do this in a in interesting order. You need to. Okay. Mm, let's close these bad boys up. No, that should probably. Okay. Wow, I actually... How did I... How did this... Even work out, exactly? <laughs> um... Okay, so... Alright, alright, so... You can... If you go here, you reset this, but if you go, you know, to the left, you can actually, um... Alright, alright, alright! I'll most likely just cut something out, but this was kinda... Often... 
not playing this game for a while, I was like, uh, how does this go again, stuff? And yeah, my torch already burned out, so, um, uh, I guess we could open that key. Open the key. Open the door with the key. And speak some English. Hello. Boom. Boom. And he's dead already. Cool. So that was that. And then I do believe we can get the next scroll. Yup. There we go. Scroll number three. And then we just jump into the pits of doom. Is this the same pit again or... Hmm, I still wonder how you can get that key. Is there anything... Hmm... Where in the world am I? I'm at level 5. Okay, hallways. Well... To be honest, I have no idea. Can you put something... Like, yeah, th there's no, like... Sometimes you have to sacrifice something in order to open these, but... Hey, okay, okay, I think I... Yeah, you probably just have to fall. Yeah, that's how you get in. There's no secret or anything. You just have to fall from the right spot in order to get there. Okay, okay. Whoa! Where did this guy come from? Boom, boom. Hello there, sir. How many hits are you going to take? Chop, chop. Let's go. No, sir. Finally. Too many hits. Too many. Uh, but we went to... Here, right? Trails of Thought. So, the catacomb. That is where we haven't been. That's the final one. The final scroll. Is there somebody over there? Who's there? Well, I'm gonna sleep off the damage because I don't know if there's some monsters here. There might be, so... It is my best interest to uh, do so. Well, of course... Of course... I would miss everything. And... What the heck is this? There was another one from the other side. Yeah, I, I kind of figured it would be a good idea to rest. Okay. And this is a... Okay, it's a frost arrow. Another one. Good. May be able to use those sometime. Boom, boom. Just get over here, will ya? Boom. Boom. Okay, there's actually two of these guys. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Boom. Miss. Whoa. Let's avoid that. And miss that. Hey, 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 hey. Boom. Boom. I guess I have to do one more ma magic. No. Let's not do that. I don't want to waste my magic too much. Don't want to do that. Okay, let's go off. Let's see if there's more here. Yup, of course there's more. So, let's waste that now. And miss that. Boom. I could use my spear, which doesn't really do much damage, but... You know, damage is damage. Hello there, sir. And dead. Okay. Got my arrows back. Not really sure if, if this is the right way to go. Rat shank. Okay. Cool. That apparently did nothing. Let's see that right away. Let's go check what's going on in this place. I can open up. Oh! Hello there. Hello there. Oh wait, what? Why did I just... I was like first planning to uh, close up that door again, but then I was like, oh, what am I doing? Boom. Well, it shouldn't be too bad, except I need to... 
There we go, two of them already dead. Yeah, I'm kinda out of magic. And boom, do that. Can I even reach these guys? Are they too far away or Okay. I can. Oh! Come on, two more. There we go, there's one more. And zero. Nothing. Oh no. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, can I? No, out of energy. Nope. And dead. Secret found, though. That's. That's good, I guess. Um. I should possibly sleep here. Um, although. Yeah, whatever. Sleep, sleep. I need to get more magic. Because Mr. Magician, or Kiram in this case, is definitely a strong guy. He can easily deal with those packs of uh, friggin' zombies or skeletons or whatever. They are skeleton warriors from the past. That's what they are. And there's this sack of random stuff. I could give it to Mr. Bull. And there are some eh, gloves. Eh, Alright. Bone amulet. Let's give that... Oh, Kiram already has one. Let's give it to Ninja Bob. Uh, it doesn't really do anything though, but uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so I'm guessing this, and I push that, it opened up this wall possibly right here, so I can go back to where I came from. And where did I come from and where in the world am I going? I still have no idea. I think I was supposed to go this way when I was... I got distracted by everything and its mother. And there were so many of those skeletons everywhere. Okay. So. How do I raise the final pits? Maybe there is, you know, something back here. You know, it's a huge place here, so. There's a note. Let's read what the note says. Let's give it to Ninja Bug. It seems I'm not the first prisoner to go through these ancient tunnels, and in case I'm not the last, I have started to write down thoughts and discoveries. Alright, blah blah blah. Although I certainly do not hope that one needs to suffer through these dungeons. Okay, that didn't really help at all. Well, let's go and explore this place a bit more. So I believe... There's possibly something new in here. There's some arrows. Crossbow grail. Okay. But... Hmm. Any secrets or anything that would open up more doors or close some pits? Those would be nice. I haven't been here. But if I... Okay, if I take this rock from here... So that might just do the trick. I would not be surprised. And let's check this place out. This looks like there could be a secret. Hmm. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here, okay. Let's just go back. So I have a feeling since we lifted up that rock, that actually might do the trick. And I think it just did. There we go. The final one is closed. So we can move move up ahead and open up this bad boy. Let's repair the blizzard. And apparently, okay. Okay. And let's put this over here. And then we have finally done this puzzle. We are done with this puzzle or you know, the part of this. Uh, I wonder... Which one would be the one to uh, drop to the thing? Let's try this one. Nope. Definitely wrong one. I don't know if I even could have gotten there here. Eh, possibly not. Possibly not. Let me sleep off and uh, then we are going to go and place those scrolls and then that will pretty much wrap up everything for this little special bonus episode. Hope you guys enjoyed still. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, text over here. 
put to sleep. All right, let's see what could possibly go there. I don't remember. Um, by his call, but still dreaming. Put to sleep, but still dreaming. Okay, I think that's right. Eternally imprisoned uh, by his call, but never forgiven to depths beyond measure. Um, eternally imprisoned by to depths beyond measure. Uh, that could actually be it. What about here? Crimes forgotten, but never forgiven. And then, cavern still echoing by his call. Ta da! And that will open up the door, the gate. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oop, oop. Boom, boom, boom. Let me just go down here and... Oh. Oh. I will deal with those pesky bastards. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Hopefully nobody's dead. Nope. Doesn't look like it. But there are a bunch of those things where we least there and that's horrible. Let's get everybody back to full and then we could... Let's do some blizzard magic. Because Kirim. That's what Kirim is all about. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Where are you going, sir? Okay. Which way am I even looking? Okay. Okay. And now, some electricity. Hello. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no. Boom, boom. Oh god, am I going to die? Okay, well, whatever. Okay. <laughs> wow. Didn't think I would get killed by these things, but I did. That's hard difficulty for you, I guess. But uh, since we got everything basically done, that's all that I wanted to uh, show you guys. Uh, we got done with the puzzle and the thing, and now we can have the good music here in the background. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a good way to end things up, even though I died. But uh, this is gonna be like the final special bonus episode, so, you know, it doesn't really matter what happens at the end. But uh, we got done with what I pretty much wanted to do, so, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope again that you did enjoy the series, and, um, what else? Uh, I'll possibly in the future do some more episode if and when the uh, dungeon editor thing will get released. Cause uh, then people can make custom maps for Legend of Grimrock and I think that would be pretty cool. But you know, that's gonna take a while before it gets released and before anyone actually, uh, anyone pro actually gets into it and makes like a good dungeon or whatnot. Uh, you know, that's gonna take possibly a long time but uh, that's you know just letting you guys know that it's a possibility and uh, sure if you guys run into some custom maps in the future that are like really interesting and you think I could do that you know you are free to leave me like a private message or a comment or whatever on my channel but uh, yeah I don't think the the dungeon editor like I said it's not even finished yet so it's gonna take some time like I said, but uh, yeah, possibility for future, and I'm just gonna stop rambling and repeating myself, so uh, thank you for watching, uh, this will be pretty much the, indeed the final episode, bonus episode, so uh, you know, if there are custom dungeons coming, then I might do them, but uh, other than that, this is gonna be the end, so thank you for watching, and until next time with something different, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out, peace!